Last night, President Biden's debate performance was the source of much entertainment. I covered it until 1 a.m. Eastern time. But the true nature of what the debate showed was evident on CNN in their post-debate coverage. There were many people on that stage. They had an enormous panel, looked like they had a dozen people up there, and there were discussions around the president's demeanor, his appearance, his affect, mainly, is he too old to serve a second term? Now, it appeared to be news to everyone there. It is, it's as if they woke up out of a coma last night, saw President Biden for the first time in 10 years, and were shocked to see that he had aged. Meanwhile, you have conservatives, people on the right, moderates, pretty much anyone with eyeballs who's willing to tell the truth, noting President Biden's aged affect and appearance of dementia for the entirety of his presidency. So this was not actually news, but I think a coordinated effort is underway to possibly replace him at the Democratic National Convention. But the thing that's blocking the possibility of that action is that President Biden has already secured all of the delegates needed to actually have the nomination. He's essentially the nominee already. It's a formality to nominate him and go through the process of making him the official nominee at their convention. Now, the convention is a few weeks away. They do have time to actually go into a few things, maybe change some procedural rules and make it easier to swap him out for a Gavin Newsom or even a Michelle, or sorry, Gretchen Whitmer. Gretchen Whitmer. Um, this is the possibility that could actually happen. And it was discussed widely last night. But I think the most interesting part of everything that's going on with these discussions is how much people simply refuse to acknowledge that President Biden lied quite a bit on that stage last night. CNN's Daniel Dale was fact checking Biden after the debate, and it was pretty epic, especially since it was on CNN, the same network where the debate occurred and the lies were so prodigiously told. Watch this. He said he's the only president in a while who didn't have any troops dying anywhere in the world. Troops have, of course, died on his watch. He said he's put in a $15 per shot cap on insulin and Medicare. It's a $35 a month cap. He said it's a $200 cap on overall drug spending in Medicare. It's $2,000 a year. He said the border now has fewer crossings than when Trump was in office. That's generally not true. He said or at least strongly suggested unemployment was at 15 percent when he took office. It was actually 6.4. He said Trump's wa Trump wants to get rid of Social mm -hmm. Security. Trump doesn't. He said billionaires pay 8.2 percent in taxes. It's much higher. He said Trump told Americans to inject bleach amid COVID. We know Trump made foolish comments about scientists studying disinfectant injection, but didn't frame it as advice to people. And Biden said the Border Patrol endorsed him. No, its union supported the border bill he supported, never endorsed him himself. And it was pretty funny as, as he was talking in, and claiming the support of the U.S. Border Patrol, they actually sent out a tweet saying exactly the opposite. So what's the takeaway here? Well, there's a few things that didn't go addressed last night, and we'll cover those in a later segment of today's program. I'm going to tear into the subject that has been most important to me, which is the death of Americans at the hands of illegal aliens in the country illegally, many of them who've been previously deported, many of them wanted for violent crime in their home countries, many of them here actually posing as delivery drivers, breaking into homes, uh, acting out intentional killings on people, acting as hitmen, kind of like things you'd see in the movies, only this is real. The families that have been torn apart by the malfeasance of the Biden administration, their open Southern border, their refusal to close the border, their vote getting scheme on steroids, the absolute carnage that is going on in families. I'll address that in a later segment, but suffice it to say, on that subject, I'm a one trick pony. I only care about keeping Americans alive and attending to the needs of Americans using American taxpayer dollars, none of which is done by this vote getting scheme that Biden is, has played out. And it was an utter travesty to see them focusing on the cost of child care instead of addressing the overall economic impacts of double digit inflation. To see them talking about President Trump possibly sleeping with a prostitute, which has already been debunked by the prostitute herself. The porn star herself actually signed a statement saying she never had sex with Donald Trump. She lied on the stand when she was discussing that. The fact that we even have to discuss that in the context of an American debate is a travesty. It was a joke last night. CNN wasn't as bad as I thought they would be, but they certainly didn't meet muster for debate moderation. So up next, who should Trump pick for his VP? We'll discuss all of this and more after the break here on Salem News Channel. Stay with us.